So in this film we're going to be showing you a quick fix uh, to repairing a background or extending the background. As you can see we've got a large group of girls here actually on the set. Um, however, we've run out of background um, in number and size. So in other words, along the background I've got one background stretched out across on stands and so on and then I've got another background in a similar color which is draping all over the props but you can see it hasn't been tall enough to actually reach uh, up fully and you can also see on the floor here that some of it's got scuffed and revealed the floor in so what I want to be able to do is move from this image to the repaired image within just a couple of uh, uh, minutes that's the key thing with it so let's just get rid of this um, finished layer for a second so this is the first thing I want to do is select the subjects. Now, when we're working it in the likes of uh, Photoshop 20, so in other words, CC and so on, we can start to actually uh, look at how we select the images. And I'm going to use the simple select subject button on the taskbar when I've got one of the selection tools selected here. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one it is, even the new object selection tool. All I'm going to do is just click on select subject. So allowing Photoshop to do its job then, that's going to make an intelligent kind of uh, look around the whole scene and basically uh, just see what it thinks is a subject without me doing any work. Now, because I'm going to be just fixing things, I don't really need to actually go in to do a fine selection. What I am going to do, though, is just duplicate that layer. So I'm just going to do Control J, which copies the girls and puts them onto their own layer, as you can see here. OK, so I'm not interested in the selection, really, because I just don't want to affect uh, elements around the girls that I'm going to repair. So just so we can uh, see the before and af after, I'll just duplicate that bottom background layer. And what I'm going to do is select that background co uh, copy here. I'm going to rename it for now Retouched, just so you can see it when we're finished. So all I'm going to do is simply pick up the lasso tool and just make a selection quickly around the missing parts of the background and I'm going to do content aware fill. So I'm going to hit my backspace on my keyboard and you can see here um, if I switch off the top layer and the bottom, the bottom layer all it does there is actually uh, 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 remo remove it. That's because this is a duplicate layer of the one below. If I was working on the background layer itself at this point it would have done the content aware fill. Okay so let's just control Z that for a second and I'm just going to now go up into edit and we're going to go into content aware fill and then this brings up the new dialog box of actually what it's going to protect and so on. I, I don't want to fuss around with this at all. I'm just going to hit the OK for now. And it's going to do a pretty damn good good job straight, uh, straight away. Next thing I'm going to do is reselect that retouch layer. And I'm going to go down to the floor and basically make again a quick selection just around here. I think that little at the corner and I missed. Once more going into edit and content aware fill that brings up the dialog boxes as you can see it's protecting elements along there. Just going to press OK again and basically Photoshop will then find the most relevant colors and start to actually retouching that in and things really. So if with that in place then we can just go in quickly and start to get rid of the repeating patterns that it might have copied into the mix uh, as well as obviously kind of extend the background so it's all about speed is really what we're trying to do here and, I'm, and remember I'm talking this through I'm going to show you at full speed in a sec second so once more just selecting around the girl's feet there and I would probably at, at this point just go in and just fill it in with some of the material around instead of actually going through the con the content aware. So very quickly, I've been able to actually create a very, very fast fix and so on. But I'm going to do it even quicker than that. All right, so let's first of all remove all of those layers. So you can see I'm not going to cheat. What am I going to do to begin with? Remember, click on one of the selection layers. Click on Select Subject. Let Photoshop do its job. I'm going to Control J to duplicate that on top click onto the actual background layer, pick up the lasso again, now go and select around the background missing at the top. That's really the big one to fill, to be honest. And now hit my backspace. Now you can see the content aware fill 
dialog box comes up instead of the panel. So I just press OK, OK to that, and that is going to do a job. And then in the same way, now remember the reason that it did that instead of coming up with the deletion was because I was working on the original background layer. So once more, hitting the backspace, hitting the OK command, and basically it starts to actually fill in here. Once more, just going in, doing that basic repairing, looks like this oh i thought there was a hand down there but it's a toe that that's okay <laughs> and once more select around the shoe select around the uh, bottom of the wood floor floor in stamp command now remember and all i'm going to do is just retouch in little elements there to make it look a little bit more believable as we're going through it and that is how we kind of completely quickly fix a background without any real work. And of course, what I did, I copied the girls on top, didn't I? So I know that that is actually copied onto the, uh, the, top, uh, the top layer. It's not affecting anything. If, of course, I wanted to go in and actually repair uh, the likes of these seams, all I'm going to be doing is basically picking up the uh, stamp tool or I could go into the patch tool making a selection around it. So I would think about the seam like a wrinkle on a face. Um, if I wanted to actually remove all these kind of big creases within the photograph, just think of it like a crease on the face and, and work on those. Or of course, I could go and add a blur to it. But that's a quick way to be able to quickly fix the background.